The Schwinnigan Cataract made their only visit of the season to Center 200 tonight, and the hometown crowd was treated to a battle between two of the top five teams in the entire Quebec League, the fifth place Screaming Eagles and the second place overall Schwinnigan Cataract. This one, folks, had it all. It was an entertaining game from start to finish, one of the best games of the entire year from Center 200, and the crowd was as loud as it's been all season. It's no surprise these two teams needed overtime to settle the result, and even though things didn't bounce Cape Breton's way in OT, they should be very proud of the way they played against a great Schwinnigan hockey team. There were lots of highlights in this one and now let's watch them with the play-by-play -play from Ken McNeil. As Hadad tries to get to the puck, he is checked quickly by Philippe Parody. Hadad wins the battle, but he gave it away. There's a chance, back in shot. They score as Olivier Wall was down and out way too early. Hadad with a terrible giveaway, and it's 1 0 Schwinnigan. And again, an early goal given up by Cape Breton and Olivier Wall down. It looked like he lined a horror, Goche and Slaney. Giving up a, a couple of good scoring chances in their first two shifts of the hockey game. Here's another one in front, Mason Hour scores! And uh, Robert Slaney caught out there. Brodeur in the back end, and that was a wide open shot there for Mason Hour. And he has scored his Robert Slaney. Now he got the ice, Tisic now getting involved. And now he gets some pushing and shoving. Schmidt gets grabbed from behind by uh, LeBrec, he's got him in a headlock. And he gets some pushing and shoving, and this is a, an area where Brad Kiesing is gonna have to step up for Cape Breton. We saw this the last game. Schwinnard was uh, jumped by Mason Hour. And LeBrec really giving it to Schwinnard. And if you're Brad Kiesing, you gotta get your gloves off and get your nose dirty. Carries off the left, lead shot, Kick. Right 
now. 3 2 kick threatened. Castilli, left circle. There's Lundell. Fire save. You know they score. The cataract has tied the hockey game. You can smell it coming. Nobody, nobody picked it up. As uh, that line finally on the board. And on a point, takes the drive the right at Tebo Fielmeyer. Defensive zone draw for the Eagles. Slaney takes a stick right to the face. Mason Hour taking Slaney down. High sticking heavily. Going to Maxine Mason Hour. And Kate Breton are going to finish this game out on a power play. Maybe the fifth power play. The big gun, the Robbie Ice, the Kit Brenton, a three, three hockey game. There hasn't been a soul in the building yet tonight. In this final minute, on the draw, the Eagles win it. Coming in off the left point, looking to the goal. Schwinard wanted to shoot it, but couldn't. Coming in, has it off the left point. The Ward on the right blue line. Lock the coming in off the left point. To Schwinard, he has a look down to Ward. Right blue line, Ward. Down low to head edge, shot, save me. Rebound as they punch away the puck. And they can't fire it on goal. And it's cleared down ice. Why did she want to get cataract? Kate Brenton has to hustle. One last chance now. As Ward looks up the right side. Slaney trying to get it ahead. And it's ripped down ice by the cataract. And we'll have to settle for overtime. It looks like he's crushed it on the plate. And it's going to be cleared out. Uh oh. Here it comes. Short again. Sure hit it. Lacroix is pitched short to the ice. And he knew that was coming. He knew there was going to be a penalty call. And that for Kate Brenton. Just an awful. Four on three, power play. Start. Kate Breton really took it to the cataract. That puck is going to be held in by again. It is picked up by Vondell. He'll circle it out the front. Blocked by Robert Slee. Four on three, again now. One minute to go in the minor. Lebrecht working off the center point. Fired a shot and saved by Watt. Rebound to Pistilli off the left wing. Back to Lebrecht, center point. Right circle, Vondell. There's the feed. Scores! Pistilli, again win it in overtime. The final four or three, and Kate Brighton did a point on a very disappointing finish here tonight. The streaming Eagles, they had a chance. Duncan takes the penalty because he just got up pitching. Sometimes you know, I don't know when to back off, but the uh, Eagles, they lose the game tonight. In overtime, Gary Narosik not happy with the referee at all. Thank you.